Fellas, finally finished this thing, man. This wooden Cuban yo-yo I've been talking about. Finally got it sanded, then I epoxied it with two coats of Boat Builders epoxy. Nice, solid unit, then put about three coats of varnish on it. It is ready, it spins good. So we're gonna uh, rig this sucker up, and what we're gonna do is decommission this thing. <laughs> I mean, this is a long way, right? This is, this is the prototype, and this is what we ended up with. I mean, that's how it goes. Almost everything I do, the first version is so ugly. It's so ugly. But then you come up with something like that, it becomes beautiful. The lot here, the... Trying to do a video, trying to make a living. It's like, no respect. Just walk it off here. Careful not to step on it. Just run an anchor hitch. Pretty side is the face. The flat side here is the back. Front, back. If you're left-handed, it'll be like this. If you're right-handed, like this. Okay. So you have the anchor hitch. One, two, three half hitches. And that's an anchor hitch, so it's anchored. <laughs> there we go. All we got to do is start winding. First wind up, man. Isn't that exciting? All right, fellas, we got her all rigged up. Okay, so a shank connected via triple threat swivel and a, and a strong uh, snap going to our lead core line, one color, and that's going down to 100 yards of 30 pound test backing. For here, since we don't have the little plug stops here we just take that and just stick it right down into the real smooth to the hand but the um, varnish has a kind of leathery feel to it so it, it it slips fast enough but there's just enough traction on it that you can kind of grip it tightly you know if you want one of these I'm gonna put them on the website sell them two for sixty five dollars or you can get them a one for fifty dollars a piece and I'll and I'll include the swivels to make your weights with and the triple threat swivels to connect all your lines but you have to get your own line and supply it yourself because you may want to cast and you may want to use 15 pound line and or you may want to rig it up a little bit differently if you're interested go check them out on the website i'll talk to you later can't wait to get this on the water